right away, we got to notice we are weakening the conclusion. Weakening the conclusion doesn't make it harder, but only is actually, it only makes it harder if you don't pay attention. So otherwise, not so bad. Let's look at the passage. Matthew D. Rockledge and team examined whether consumer ratings of movies can predict box office success. The team considered both numeric star ratings and written reviews in their research. To analyze the written reviews, the team measured the emotionality, the degree to which a written review expresses an emotional reaction of user reviews on a movie rating website, assigning each review an emotionality score. After reviewing this research, a student argues that the emotionality of movie reviews is unrelated to movie success at the box office. So that's very clearly what we're trying to weaken. So how would we weaken that? What's my dumb summary for weakening that? It would be that emotionality, emotionality, uh, if it's unrelated to a movie success, well, we would say that it has an effect, affects success, right? That's, that's literally it. We're just reversing it, right? They say emotion doesn't matter. I'm saying emotion does matter, okay? So let's now look at the choices and see if there's anything there. A, movies that had the highest average emotionality scores receive the lowest average star ratings on the movie rating website. Well, that seems to suggest that there's some sort of correlation. It doesn't say whether they're good or bad, I guess. Um, it just says that it affects it. So had the highest average emotionality scores receive the lowest average star ratings. But actually, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I'm being foolish here. They're talking about the movie success. Star rating is not the same thing. The star rating is the review. So it's a different kind of review, but I want to know what their success at the box office. So I want to know how much money they make, I guess. Um, so yeah, that, that maybe is close, but I don't love this part of the end. Let's look at B. The average emotionality score of a movie's reviews was a positive predictor of the movie's box office earnings. So notice how they phrase that, right? The emotionality score of a movie's reviews was a positive predictor of that movie's box office earnings. That means that as one thing goes up, the other goes up, right? So more emotion equals more success, right? Earnings, money, right? So um, that seems right. Uh, it's, it's, I don't necessarily get the impression from the passage that they have to both go up, but predictor is the right word. Whether it's a positive predictor or a negative predictor, either way, if it's predicting something, it's related. It has some sort of effect. So that seems right, but let's look and see. More than half of the movies that the team examined received an average star rating of three out of five stars. Well, it doesn't talk about the emotionality at all. D, the movies that were most successful at the box, box office tended to have high average star ratings, but the star rating is not the emotionality score. Those are different things. So B is definitely the answer. It is the only one that connects the emotion to the box office success. Um, in A is close though. I definitely think that's a trap because I almost fell for it because it seems like it's kind of saying that they're related, but it's not the right things. Now notice they do talk about the star ratings and all that stuff earlier in the passage. I wasn't paying close attention to that, but that's okay because uh, it's not going anywhere. If I need it, it's there later. So if I were really stuck between A and B, hopefully I would have noticed that one is talking about the box office success. The other is talking about this random star rating thing. So I would kind of go back, look at the difference and be like, oh, the star rating is nothing about the box office. That's a review, right? The reviewer is doing that, not like the, the money. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, this is not one where I think it's particularly difficult, but if we misread things, we could fall for a trap pretty easily. So just be careful and make sure that you don't go too fast through a question.